Welcome back, Eric Yvonne with me from the Tahoe Douglas Fire Protection District. We are talking wildfire prevention. How are you? Yeah, great. Well, thanks for having us this evening. Always happy when you come in. You always have yeah. great information and we can't be reminding everybody enough how important right. it is to be diligent. Right. I mean, it's, it's a very, it's a huge concern for us, especially with the basin and Lake Tahoe. Um, fires can be very dangerous. They'll destroy the, the wildland, but they also can, because of this urban interface, they can come into the homes and they can risk life. A lot of lives are lost to, to fire. So. Yeah, well, I mean, with things being as dry as they are, being where we are, and with as many of the trees either dead or dying be for various reasons, whether right. the, you know, the bark beetle or whatever, yeah. things that's just tinder block out there. It is right now, especially. Um, you know, we're in this hot summer months. Uh, fire season is pretty much year round, but we're particularly concerned now because of the, the heat, the wind, and the dry. And so those things together make a triad for disaster and all it takes is one spark. And so we want to say one less spark and get that word out to everyone that they um, uh, they know that, hey, where you park can cause a spark. So don't drive your vehicle up on the brush or, you know, getting off the road. Um, if your chains are dragging, if you're towing a trailer or a boat, those chains can spark and cause a wildfire. Smoking, uh, cigarettes along trailheads or even off the road because uh, the road, the heat off the road dries everything out. And so yeah. the, the brush right around the road is really susceptible to that. So, you know, um, knowing uh, the weather, uh, red flag warnings we put out there to let people know. And a red right. flag is from the National Weather Service. And they look at those indicators. Um, those are something that tell us that, hey, it's extreme fire danger. Be careful out there. Uh, the Forest Service is also reporting that there's been several um, illegal campfires that have escaped. Um, and so, you know, if you if you see that out there, make note of that, call it in. Um, if you see, obviously see a fire plume, call it in. And then make note of what's in the area. You know, if there's, um, if you see somebody out there, um, try to see what are they wearing. Maybe take a picture, everybody has their camera with them. You may not have cell service, but you can use your camera. Take a picture of those people so that we can identify them and maybe talk to them afterwards or whatever we need to do. That's really good advice because it is sometimes a little bit difficult. I mean, our family likes to go hiking and we yeah. have seen people gathering uh, wood for campfires that will be right. illegal. And, and I have said something before and it hasn't been, you know, hey guys, what are you, what are you doing? This beautiful forest. And, yeah. You're going to harsh my party, man. You know, it's like, well, <laughs> don't it's, harsh, you know, don't ruin the forest. Is. Well, safety is everybody's so, responsibility. So absolutely. when you're out there, you know, really yeah, good idea. it's not, it's pretty, it's non-threatening for the most part, you yeah. know, and, and you just, you just tell people your concern. Don't be confrontational. Right. Let law enforcement, let us do our job, mm -hmm. but, um, and, and not put you in a bad situation because we certainly don't want that. But illegal campfires are a big deal. Yeah. Um, more than half of the fires started in the wilderness are from illegal campfires and they're man-made. Some are from lightning. You know, we wow. get lightning strikes too, but, um, you know, there's natural causes and lightning being one of them. Uh, so, you know, just be super vi vigilant. Be aware of what's out there and, and uh, pay attention. And don't assume that someone else is going to call it in. If you do see a plume of smoke out there, we were talking yeah. during the commercial break, yeah. to, that, that you need to call it in. See, yeah, see and, it, and it's super helpful if there's a fire out there and that's on a trailhead and you're walking back out of the trailhead. Take a picture of the cars that are around the trailhead, maybe the license plate numbers. That is helpful for us because then we know who was in the area. We can make sure, one, that they were safe and they got out of that area, but two, if they were there, maybe they saw something. Thank you so much for stopping by this evening. Fantastic information about being vigilant. Thank we will you. be back with more Tahoe Tonight.